Well, it was a short game, but uh, it really told a concise, brutal story about, about life in... Uh... Yeah. Oh, post Don't live under late-stage capitalism. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first, ladies and gents. Time to eat the rich. Honestly, I still can't believe it takes like a good four or five hours of gameplay before you even hit the title screen. That's something kind of funny. Hey. I think The Witcher 3 had a similar like gap Never just because of there. all you could do. Sure don't look it. Hey, hey, we're chill! Man, that really is old gen cyber. Yep. I can appreciate that they that they even took the time to use like the old version of chipping in that they had from the 2018 trailer for this bit. Tonight, I'm I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. I will. I do say though, can't fuck around with it. as a trans woman, the sections where my character's consciousness was forcibly transplanted into the mind of a dude was a little bit disorienting and disconcerting. I imagine more so than like mine, where a perfectly normal guy was shoved into the mind of one of the most infamous terrorists of an era. Also, I love the fact that. The year 2020 looks demonstrably 80s in this universe. It's fantastic. Well, I mean, it's honestly not that dissimilar from the regressive, progressive uh, aesthetic of the Fallout universe, taking a specific era and time and extending it forward as culture Don't stagnates and iterates yeah. rather than evolves. Oh, wait, are you saying it's 2020 right now? Yes. Come on, man, Gary, six feet. Also, look, look at this fucking. Silent treatment or what? Is this like a. Oh, fuck. Which artist is this copying the vibe of shamelessly? Because it's a very specific one. I don't remember. Oh. Get off the car, man. Fuck oh, yeah, he, he's, he's doing Not the Hendrix. Yeah, I was gonna say the Hendrix. Well, it could be a little. I see a little bit of Hendrix, Bastard. I guess. Miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Love it when you're mad. Get my stomach blood pumping. Get in, or I change my mind. Wolf, what are you? Silverhand. Hey, shame. Get us in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it? God, I love Rogue's 2020 fit. I, I love her not taking any of Johnny's shit. Oh, there's a guy no. down there. And right on his forehead. She'll be taking some of Johnny soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 2023. Yeah. Caught off, shut down. Maybe she's on the streets of I wonder what he's doing this year. Sons of bitches. A full board. Yeah. He's not smasher levels of board, but uh, he's the closest anyone outside of smasher could probably get. Yeah. Target range of fire. Make it rain. He also s sounds a bit uh, Irish, maybe Scottish. Not quite sure. The, uh... I mean, a black Scotsman, I guess. Shake it. 
Oh, he's in the crack of bed. Nah, he's just wounded. Alright. Now I've got the time for this. Shaken, a full on board. Couple of shots. Fucking got decimated, so Johnny has to take over. I don't have to fire a single goddamn shot, and no health is being lost whatsoever. <laughs> I could sit yeah. here for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Johnny's memory is maybe not 100% reliable. Even when you're just experiencing his recollection of events, he's taken the piss. Yeah, Which also, yeah. It goes to show that it's, it's not him actively lying. His memory is faulty and flawed, like all humans. People remember things the way they want to. Oh, oh shit. I remember the worst incidents of my life, like they were disasters. Yeah. So, here's the thing. We all, like, I kind of told you guys the story of how shit actually went down in 2023, as per source books. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're getting a lot of shit that didn't happen here. Artistic license. On whose part, CDPRs or Johnny's? Yes. Get the payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos. Screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Also. Grass green. Uh, birds fly. Can't friends, I know you'll get this one also. Ass. Like, for how far no, they, like... Playground, Murphy. Come on! Either it's Johnny's poor memory or an issue on the designer's aspect, but Johnny's pistol was meant to be fired using a cyber arm because this thing canonically uses 500 Nitro Express, which in a handgun would pop your fucking joint, would pop your elbow joint like a grape. Johnny took that good. Yeah. And hell, I, I think you also mentioned that um, that the design of the handgun and his arm are meant to integrate together to lock yeah. the greater stability. Yep. What was your guys' opinion when you guys first played through this mission? It's meant to be a power fantasy. It's uh, you're mowing down these. Effortlessly with style and flair, you're co throwing out one liners. I pegged it as the power fancy. I didn't recognize Johnny as a uh, what is the term? Unreliable narrator until much yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, I didn't pick up on that either at first. And I think that they they do a good job of assuming again these are intentional of planting those seeds. Yeah. And but leaving them ambiguous enough that you might not legitimately catch it. I guess for me, because like I said, I I had done my research by the time 2077 had come out, I'd already versed myself with 2020 source book, bit of cyberpunk jump starts, red cyberpunk red stuff like that. That I knew for the most part, like how this story is supposed to end. Closing in on the access. For me, I just got very excited and tried to speed on it. <laughs> like, for Sweet example, what's right about to happen? Right? Like, Johnny never makes it to the top of the tower. He to dies to somewhere in the middle protocol. of it. Hilarious. Yeah. Are you gonna help or not? Do spider spin With webs? one last snorkel in hand, I don't think he even encounters Thanks. Adam. No, no, he does. Uh, but, like, oh, Shaten and them. Cow. And on the team were Take getting just to done doing this, oddly enough. Ongoing uh, after an unidentified or they were getting ready to purge Soul Killer from the lab, and like free, after they freed all, the Adam shows up. To, and unquote, and as they were all getting mowed down, Johnny was kind of like, fuck it. Night fucking threw out some fucking bullets Adam's way, and then Adam just mows him down. Bring the full force yeah, I mean, Johnny got what he came from. Terrorism. Also, Mary Ebenike at this juncture would have already been soul killed and like Hopefully his replacement puppet got like introduced. Awesome. Now get out of there. So Grand. once again, like I'll take it as like CDPR, like not exactly adhering to all the source book lore, which fair, you're adapting a tabletop game 
I mean, I wouldn't expect, like, Baldur's Gate 3 to adhere to everything 100%. There's also the temptation when a adapting source material to pull in as many iconic and identifiable elements as you can, even if they don't necessarily fit. So that the reaction from fans is, oh hey, I know that, even if they then go, wait, what, that's not quite right. Yeah. Like, for example, you don't see Blackhand at all throughout this entire game, and I doubt you'll ever see him, maybe in the sequel. Ah, this would be the most appropriate point where Johnny would die. I mean, if he did show up in the, the DLC, that'd be interesting. Also, Smasher looking almost human. Perfect. Also, that, like, that oh. cutaway is, like, the perfect spot where Johnny really died. If... Oh, yeah, they, they literally have a hard cut of the memories. And at this at this point, this is just him freestyle jazzing a better ending for himself based on Imagine. Yeah. Because that's he can't clever. quite process the fact that he was soul-killed. Like, A, that he was yeah. soul-killed, or B, that he felt like he, he died like, like a, a punk. punk. Yeah. gets to contextualize this is he only left because they forced the uh, chopper away and it dropped him. Smasher. And he was... Told you, Johnny boy. Yeah, he's meant Told to you I'd catch you someday. Also, acting as if Smasher deeply, intimately cares about him when mm -hmm. we all know his rival was Morgan. It's really ambiguous how much, like, CDPR is gassing up Johnny and how much gas jo Johnny's gassing up himself. Which I think is fucking great. <laughs> yeah? Wait a minute. Hold on! Turn around! This is the room where you got shot by Smasher. Yeah. Why would you manifest here? What, this just does just lead into the he was gunned down then and there, soul killed on the spot, and his mind materializes again here, because he never left physically or mentally. Yeah. I don't quite yeah. buy the soul killed on the spot, if only because, like... It's easy to rip a runner's mind out of their body. It's not so easy to rip your average meat suit yeah no they say like canonical that they say that like his body was recovering and it was still fresh enough that they cryoed it apparently like in like the 2045 history of the world type shit that that's a big rumor that's going around which is what happened when i eat too many pancakes and drink mountain dew <laughs> heavy than she looks well fuck you too dex now listen dog I can't wait I to fucking exactly get your you ass asked. down Just give so me a fucking gun God damn it talk more He was mine Can't have shit that? in my city <laughs> Christ, I, I can't believe if you go to this junkyard And find his fucking gun It costs you eddies to fire It's so fucking cool The plan B Fuck. Quiet. This pistol is ass. Also, you're kind of... Yeah. Barely dead? Mostly dead. Oh shit. Nice car, too. Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. If you take a fucking nap, I'm gonna be real upset with you. Oh, now the gun is one shot, one kill. I can. We both need to use the medical bit. attention. Do you know a Reebok room you oh, can try? That's it. You I mean, folded his... a car around. I mean, his... I mean, I guess his head must might have been cracked in the back against the pillar, but... The exterminators. 
But yeah, the, it wasn't as if it, his, his skull was the thing sandwiched between the car and the pillar. Victor. Oh, fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 Interesting. minutes. Interesting. What are you doing? Hey! The should personal the... link is damaged. Please proceed it's to insert the jack below the ear. Shouldn't Delamain's contract with you be over there at this be point? Auxiliary neuro sockets between her limbs. I don't know. Besides which, you're outside the service area. If so I hit the bay by mistake, she will die. For you. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. <laughs> I think I have the socket. I love Delamay. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That's your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Bella means like... I am a accredited medical professional. Have you considered the odds of just... And then he was just kind of like Han Solo, never tell me the odds. I wonder how much of the how fucked up Takamura was was from the rounds he took and how much was uh, his cyber getting shut down? I mean... That literally happened to us, so. Yeah, but we recovered in a reasonable amount of time. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. I don't know, Beck. My ears are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. Real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? That's hey, technically, right. Lord thinks you're a terrorist too. 
Yeah. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? His doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Think you can talk the terrorist in my brain? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. Well, that's a hell of a thing to wake up to. V, it's important you get all this. I don't believe an ounce of the horseshit coming from your mouth. Know why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Whatever's happening to me, there's a logical explanation. Gotta be. You're the yeah, you've seen invasion of the body snatchers. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I don't own it a thing. Not one deep. Okay. There was. is. A construct, a psyche on the chip, that of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coached you off the path toward the light. You're Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome. Hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While well, your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. You've always come through for me. There's nothing you can do to help me then. What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak.
given me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Which operates on the presumption, well, first of souls and... Secondly, makes a lot of assumptions about the Here, consciousness of someone. One more thing for you. Yeah. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm. Well, that doesn't look like an Eddie. <laughs> Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Of course, you only think about Eddie. Wait. Um. About Jackie. Yeah. He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Yeah. This section of the game does do some very... a very particular tone regarding grief. Yeah. And uh, the inevitability of death. I don't know if it quite crosses the line to being a maudlin, but I don't know if it always 100% nails the meditative solemn tone. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Well, that won't help anything. We die, you die, dickhead. We don't know that. He don't know that. Need a smoke. Yeah. Where'd you stash yours? <laughs> it is a fucking sig. Yeah. Well, uh, he, he, here's the question. Does your V smoke? No. I did it. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Ah. Who you were for start first talking. impression you make. I know, right? <laughs> fuck! Fuck. Yeah, it took you a sec to realize we're sharing a meat suit, didn't it, buddy? Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Johnny smashing their face into the glass again. And in either case, what do they think it's going to accomplish? See you never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! 
<laughs> That's the clip I'm gonna use for the, like our first interaction with Johnny Silverhand. Stick your gun in your mouth. Pull the trigger. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Johnny says I couldn't live with pits. Dysphoria is a hell of a thing. Please, I mean, fuck, fuck it. Get out. In the, in the ending, where sh should I talk about ending? Well, this is a retrospective. Everyone, in the ending, where Johnny has your body and you leave. Oh, any I got. Yeah, and you're playing a female V. I do wonder how Johnny adjusts to that, because I've never seen that ending. This guy just learned how to pee sitting down.